Good morning. So we start. <clears throat> the lecture is entitled The Dawn of English Literature. <clears throat> the first part is entitled The Ancient uh, Britons and Their Language. Literature is closely connected with the life and history of the people. <clears throat> In order to understand English literature, it is necessary to know uh, the history of the country. In the 4th century BC, the country we now call England was known as Britain. One of the tribes who lived there was named the Britons. They belonged to the Celtic race and spoke Celtic. There are still some traces of this language found in the England of today. Most of all, we find them in geographical names, <coughs> such as Avon, River, as in Stratford on Avon, Keel, Wood, as in Kilbrook. Another Celtic tribe, Gals, uh, lived in Ireland. It's my cat. She likes to, to sing. Uh, so, another Celtic tribe, Gals, lived in Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. Their descendants uh, still live there and use some words of Celtic origin, such as Loch, uh, as in Loch Ness Lake. Uh, some customs of Celtic priests called Druids are kept in England nowadays. On New Year's Day, the mistletoe, which becomes green at this time of the year, is hung up in all houses. So that was the first part of our lecture. <coughs> the second part is called the Roman Invasion. In the year 55 BC, Britain was conquered by the Romans. Their language was Latin. Julius Caesar was the first Roman who invaded the country. To conquer the Britons, the Romans had to encamp troops all over the country. The English cities later rose from these camps. The word castra, uh, camp, was later pronounced casta, chester, and Sesta. Now there are many English towns which have the Latin ending, such as Lancaster, Manchester, Worcester, and others. <coughs> A large number of English words come from the Latin language. For example, street comes from strata, wall comes from vallum, port comes from portus, etc. The Roman occupation lasted for more than 400 years, till uh, 407 AD, Anna Domini, uh, when the Roman troops left Britain. That was the second part of our lecture. And the last part of our lecture is entitled The Invasion by Germanic Tribes. When about uh, 410 the Romans were withdrawn to protect Rome itself, the Germanic tribes, Angles, Saxons and Jews began their invasion of Britain. They spoke different dialects of the West Germanic language. <clears throat> From this language modern German was developed. The Britons fought many battles until at last they were either made slaves or driven to the west and the north of Britain, to Wales, Cornwall and Scotland. The Angles, Saxons and Jews were pagans. They believed in many gods. Tiusco, god of darkness, Wooden, god of war, Thor, the thunderer, and Freya, goddess of prosperity. When people began to divide time into weeks and days, they gave the days the names of their gods. Sunday is the day of the sun, Monday the day of the moon, Tuesday the day of the god Tusca, Wednesday the Wooden's day, Thursday the Thor's day. Friday, Freya's Day, and Saturday, Saturn's Day. All these invaders created the Anglo-Saxon England, Angleland. The Anglo-Saxons 
had no written language, uh, yet they had letters called runes, uh, which they carved on wood and stone. The songs, stories and poems they made up had to be memorized and were handed down from generation to generation. One Saxon poem called Beowulf has reached our days. So that's the end of our lecture, uh, but uh, the task, tasks uh, will be the following. First, to retell the lecture, uh, and second, to write it down and to prepare the text of your writing. So you should uh, take pictures of your uh, lecture and send it to our group in Vkontakte. And also you should uh, record the uh, video of your retelling. Uh, in the beginning you must show me your ears for me to be sure that you don't use any iPhones or other devices to help your retelling. So, wish you good luck. Goodbye.